Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of True Crime Break. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about Kiana Burns. She was 44 and her husband, Ronnell Burns, he was 46. They were this ambitious power couple from St. Louis, Missouri. Now, power couples pop up everywhere on social media these days, giving everyone these couple goals. Everybody from Barack and Michelle to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Well, Kiana and her husband, Ronnell, were quite successful with their businesses and they had moved to Atlanta so that they could expand on those businesses. And if their social media pages were to be believed, they were quite successful. So after moving to Atlanta, they founded several businesses. One of those was For His Glory Ministries, which was a nonprofit focused on helping the homeless. They also had Critique Designs, Beauty and Barber Salon and SixFigure.com. There were also reports that they worked for Primerica Insurance as well. So all of the businesses that they had did bring them in lots of cash, which gave them this glamorous lifestyle that from the outside looking in, they had it going on. And so by looking at Kiana and Ronell's social media pages, their lives appeared to be full of glitz and glamour. They were driving Maseratis, sporting Louis Vuitton accessories. They were the types of people that other folks would look at and think, hmm, couple goals. I want to be like that. I want to have that life. I want to live that lifestyle that they are living. But the saying, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear certainly applied to Kiana and Ronell's life. Because even though they had this life of luxury and they had everything they could need or want at their fingertips, Kiana revealed in a Facebook Live video that things actually weren't all that great. About uh, five, six months ago, Um, My husband and myself, we moved to Atlanta to uh, expand our business. Um, Still have the beauty and barber salon in St. Louis, Missouri. I know that's the hometown, but we did come here to expand. Um, We did a lot of great things in Missouri. So, you know, Atlanta is a place where... I always wanted to be. What's up, y'all? What's up, Amanda? Um, But look, y'all, I'm telling you, if you don't stay prayed up and you don't keep faith, things can swivel in and take you out. I'm telling you, you guys, like, uh, the transition uh, it wasn't necessarily a smooth one it wasn't a hard one either but it was something that um we chose to do um and when you come to a new uh state or city and you're trying to learn people and you're trying to learn you know the things that they do and uh, that could be challenging um And coming here with our kids, just us and our kids, you know, um, it's just us. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no way. We can't drop the kids off at our kid folks' house. We can't can't go, uh, you know. So right now my husband is, you know, at a retreat. I stay back due to, um, because we have our children here. Um, However, uh, you all, you just, I just want to talk about it because you have to be prepared for life changes. No matter what it is that's taking place, and I'm and I'm trying to encourage someone because things in your life can can change for the good or the bad overnight, literally. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't feel like you are a strong enough individual, some things may take you out. You know what I'm saying? So Kiana did seem like maybe she threw something or there was some type of unhappiness going on, but there weren't any, 
you know, indicators that there was anything wrong in her marriage. But authorities were called out to uh, her and Ronell's residence on November the 6th of 2021. So the couple's teenage daughter had dialed 911 from another location and she reported um, a domestic violence incident. So by the time the police officers arrived, there were neighbors that were gathered outside. And the neighbors said that they had heard gunshots coming from inside the house. So it remains unclear exactly how many times Ronald was shot or what kind of weapon Kiana fired. But what was clear to the police was that moments after she pulled the weapon out and shot and killed her husband, she then turned the gun on herself and she shot herself. Now, by the time the first responders were able to enter into the home, both Kiana and Ronald had died of their injuries. So no one really knows what drove Kiana to kill her husband, but people started to speculate with some people saying that she was driven to kill her husband because she found out that he had been cheating on her. Now, other people said that the couple, although they appeared to be living this life of luxury, a lot of people say that they were in a lot of debt, um, particularly because of Ronald, who people described as a con man, and they felt like he has swindled Kiana. And so now he had them, you know, in all of this debt and it was really taking a toll on her and she just couldn't take it. And she snapped. So looking into why people thought that Ronald was a con man, apparently he had appeared on the TV show divorce court several years prior with his then wife, Avis. And so now, according to Avis, Ronald cheated on her all the time, multiple times. And she also claims that he made terrible financial decisions, which in the end ruined her credit. Now, according to Ronald, you know, his counterclaim was that Avis was not so squeaky clean either. And he claims that he caught her in the middle of having her own affair, too. Either way, he had a very messy divorce with his ex-wife. Avis. And following his divorce, he remarried. He says he found God and he claimed to be a changed man. Now, whether or not any of that had anything to do with Ronald's murder is something that police detectives are currently still looking into. Now, none of the couple's eight children were in the home at the time of the shooting, which is a good thing. But the sad part about it is that there are now eight children who are left without both parents as they both are gone and no one really has any clear reason or motive as to why Kiana killed her husband and then turned the gun on herself. Now, people are speculating that through those live videos that Kiana made, she was crying out for help, that she certainly did not seem uh, happy regardless of all of her uh, material possessions, the shoes, the cars, the clothes, um, the nice house. She was still unhappy. And it does seem like she may have been going through some type of high functioning depression and could have been, you know, crying out. And with her husband kind of focusing, you know, on himself, he had left her home with the kids while he was going on a retreat. You know, it, it is enough to make someone uh, snap. So if you are going through anything, I would ask you to, you know, reach out and find someone, um, you know, a therapist, um, a friend or, or someone to talk to because more and more we are seeing um, these cases of, you know, people from celebrities, young, old, white, black people are, you know, just out here seeming like they're okay, but deep down they're really not. And then we're hearing more and more stories of suicides. And so it, it, it does indicate that there was something that was going on either within her marriage or just within herself, um, that she was extremely unhappy. And it's something that I've said repeatedly time and time again. It doesn't matter how beautiful you are or how intelligent you are, what kind of car you drive or how big your house is. 
you know, depression is not like a blemish. You can't slap some makeup on it, cover it up and think that nobody is going to notice sooner or later, whatever it is that you are suffering with or carrying with you inside, it's going to come out. And unfortunately, in Kiana's case, it came out in the form of her murdering her husband and then herself. And it's so tragic for them and for the kids. But anyway, um, I would love to hear your thoughts on this case. So be sure to comment down below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my True Crime podcast for more true crime stories. In the meantime, you guys, please be easy and be safe and take care of yourself. Bye.